There's nothing like a fall getaway to discover something new and fun along one of Tennessee's two lane highways, especially when it's budget friendly. Well, our first destination certainly fits the bill. It's all in a local downtown landmark in the hometown of one of Tennessee's most famous entertainers. She was a member of the Grand Ole Opry from 1940 until her death in 1996. Sarah Cannon as Minnie Pearl became one of the most popular comics in America, always portraying herself as a man-chasing spinster from a Tennessee town called Grinder Switch. Grinder Switch was only a make-believe town, but the Grinder Switch Center here on the town square of Centerville, Minnie's real hometown, is the real deal complete with an old-fashioned Saturday morning radio show you could call the Mini Opera. Hi, I'm Nikki Bunn. This is the Grinder Switch Hour. We're coming to you live from beautiful downtown Centerville, Tennessee on a Saturday morning. The Grinder Switch Hour, hosted by Mickey Bunn, is broadcast live on Centerville's WNKX radio station. You can see and hear the show free here in the old Chamber of Commerce building. And you'll be treated to a talented house band appropriately called the Grinder Switch Ensemble. We do this for the Chamber to create buzz in the community, let the folks know there's music in the community. We do it for the Chamber of Commerce to create traffic into the museum here. This is such an awesome thing, and folks come from all over, and when they come in, they say, why haven't we heard about this? But it's just, we love it. There's so much music heritage in this county, it's a shame to let it go to waste. Gotta believe that, even the radio station owner, Steve Turner, joins in with some pretty impressive Hank Williams rendition. He always wore his Sunday feathers and held a tomahawk. Each Saturday morning show features a special guest artist. This time it's Mike Huffman. Mike's a Music City songwriter who wrote scores of hits for artists like George Strait and Conway Twitty. He tried to hide it by the faded This place is also a museum dedicated to Centerville's talented natives, mainly, of course, Sarah Cannon. Miss Cannon was an entrepreneur in her own right. She believed in home and family and community. And one of the things that still lives on today that she left for this community to do is we have an education foundation. And she stipulated in her estate and her will that we could sell her prints, mini pearl prints, and all those monies go to educate the kids of Hickman County. Executive Director Nancy Rowland manages the museum, which also honors hometown talents like Opry star Del Reeves and a lesser known lyricist named Beth Slater Whitson. Way back in the early 20th century, that was the way people entertained themselves with music and usually the whole family had some, played some type of instrument or sang or what have you. So they would buy sheet music to, to uh, keep up with their favorite songs and learn how to play them. County Mayor Steve Gregory acquired copies of Whitson's more than 100 published songs inside sheet music covers that are like music art. They seem to suit the structure that houses them. The building was a hardware store on this floor we're on now. It's called Carruthers Hardware. And then in our basement of this building, it was a mortuary. So it was a double duty building, but it has a lot of history with it. Actually in the building now, in the hardware store, the old-timey ladders that you slide to get items off the shelves, they're still here above the ceiling, so they're still up there and intact. And there's also a little hole up there. We think it's a shotgun blast, but we can't document that. <laughs> well, there's one more local artist that's vital to this story. Charlie Garner was the congenial founding host of the Grinder Switch Hour. Charlie died as a result of a brain tumor in 2008, 
but the show goes on in his loving memory. Also, our buddy Kenny Durham, a great singer-songwriter, is here with us this morning. And every Saturday morning when I flip that switch, I just feel Charlie's influence keeping me going. And uh, Charlie was such an inspiration to me. I miss him every Saturday. The Morning Music Show is now a bona fide Tennessee tradition that will carry on thanks to dedicated, talented musicians. The museum will no doubt expand with more of Benny's life. Together, they make for a perfect budget-friendly Saturday road trip, and you'll be the one saying, I'm just so proud to be here.